Hey, how you doing everyone? Welcome back to Big Frogs 4x4, part 2 of the rocker panel replacement on the Chevy Cobalt. I just want to go over some of the tools you're going to need. I uh, don't really need to have all these tools. You could just use um, like a hacksaw blade or a reciprocating saw or something like that and just sandpaper and hand sanding everything. It's just going to take a lot more time. It can be done by hand, but really it isn't that expensive to go out to like Harbor Freight or go on Amazon and pick up some of these tools for a fairly good price and make your job a little bit quicker. A right angle die grinder with one of the pads that does sanding and so forth on. That'll come in really good, really big handy whenever it comes time to doing some of the sanding and finishing touches. This is a body saw from Harbor Freight. Like I said, once again, not necessary to have, but sometimes it makes it a lot easier and a lot quicker to get into some of those tight places. Three inch cutoff wheel. That way you can get in there and make it look a little bit quicker job rather than using the body saw. They are again like $10, $15 at Harbor Freight. A good drill bit set, or I picked these up on Amazon. These are made in the USA. They are spot weld cutting kit. I've already opened the box up, but the part number is 11096 in case you're interested. Got really good reviews on Amazon. I bought this off Amazon, like I said. It's made in the USA. And what it consists of, I already put one of the bits on here, and it comes with three, three cutting bits and one drill bit. All right, the main goal here is just remove the majority, the worst stuff out of here. Basically, I'll just cut up along here, come down, just cut out the, the main section of the rocker so I can get in and see what exactly what we're working with. Make sure you wear protective equipment. You, last thing you want to do is get to go get a tetanus shot, stitches, or something dug out of your eye. <laughs>
All right, let's get down here and take a look at how bad it really is. It is, as you can see, pretty bad. Uh, I'm not sure my game plan for repairing all of this yet. I have some rubber insulation sealer up here I'm going to have to be careful of. I'm probably going to have to flat plate, clean all this out, flat plate this. I'm not going to be able to make a rounded, nice rounded piece of metal for here. So I'm probably going to have to kind of just come off and then square it off with an edge. And then box it off on the bottom. It's um, I probably have to get rid of almost all of this. This is all going to need boxed back in. Cut out as much as this, probably right up here, right where this bend is. And then make a new piece come down and bend it in behind the new rocker panel. I'll have to put all that in first before I do the rocker panel. Up underneath the rocker panel is not too bad, just mostly surface rust. So I can keep all of that. My plan is right underneath the edge of the door, up here. Right where the, behind the seam, right where it kind of rolls up underneath. To cut that out and weld and then do all my body welding up there. The rest of this actually isn't too terribly bad. It's mostly surface rust. Stuff I can sandblast off and just kind of clean up and paint all the way up. I'm going to have to be very careful. I'm going to have to get most of this out because this is going to be very flammable. So I'm going to have to get most of this stuff out. It seals up in here. So I can weld all the way up into there. As you can see, I have my work cut out for me. I'm not at body work. I never went to school for body work. So all of this is going to be kind of learned from things I've seen on different websites and forums and TV shows. And pretty much just come up with it on my own as I go. As long as everything is structurally welded back in and everything strong will be good. I'm not too worried about the final appearance. I mean, I don't want it to look crappy, I don't want it to look terrible, but I'm not worried about looking real pretty either. I just need to be able to pass inspection and get at least five more years out of this car. Thanks for watching Big Frogs 4x4. Hit like, subscribe, hit that bell if you want notified as each video as it comes out. And God bless.